Welcome back to The Dangen, everybody. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to hook up multiple devices and HDMI 2.1 ports on the LS12000. Stick around. Thanks for tuning into the channel again, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe below. I've had a few questions about the Epson LS12000 and how I have it hooked up here in the Dangent. Now, I do have a Denon X4700H that powers all my different devices to my surround sound system. I also have the output running through HDMI 2.1 cables to the Epson LS12000. Some people have asked, how do I utilize my Xbox Series X and my PlayStation 5, which are both HDMI 2.1 devices, if the Denon only has an output for one HDMI 2.1. Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that and how to use the ARC and eARC features on the LS12000. So, like I said, hit the like and subscribe, and let's get going. All right, everybody, let's begin our little segment here talking about the HDMI cables first. So right now I have all of the HDMI cables unplugged from the devices that I'm going to run to the projector. On the left, you'll see this black HDMI 2.1 cable that is going to plug into the PlayStation 5. In the center, we have a HDMI 2.1 cable labeled HDMI 1 projector. This is going to plug into the back of the Xbox Series X and into the HDMI 1 2.1 port on the back of the projector. Finally, we have an HDMI 2.1 cord that's going to run from the Denon AVR receiver into the HDMI 2.1 or HDMI 2 port on the back of the projector that has the eARC and ARC port listed. So let's go ahead and hook those up. Okay, the next step, I have my AV cabinet pulled away from the wall and I wanted to show you guys in person, kind of up and close, how I plug in the HDMI 2.1 cables from the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, as well as where they plug into the Denon on the back. So bear with me if the camera shakes a little bit, I'm doing this um, front and center, so. We'll start first with the PlayStation 5 and the back of that. I have the HDMI 2.1 cable, which was the black one I showed. This will plug into the PlayStation 5 in the back, just like I've done here. And it's going to go from the other end to the back of the Denon. Now, if you can see here, hopefully the camera's not too shaky. We're putting this into the 8K in of the Denon. So there we have it, 8K in. Next thing we're going to do while we're behind the Xbox Series X is we're going to take the cable that is labeled HDMI, you can see that, HDMI 1 to the projector and plug that into the back of the Xbox Series X. So now that we have that plugged in there, these run through the wall and up through the ceiling to the projector. Lastly, we have the HDMI 2 for the projector. This actually goes from the Denon, from this HDMI Monitor 1 ARC port. So that will now run all the way to the projector. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the signal from the PlayStation 5, run it out this cable of the receiver to the projector. All right, now we're gonna to move to the back of the projector. So we have our Xbox Series X plugged into our HDMI 1 cable, which I have labeled here HDMI 1, and we're gonna put that in the HDMI 1 port on the back of the Epson. The HDMI 2 cable is coming out of the Denon. This is coming out of the 8K, 4K, 120 hertz 
eARC port. So what we're going to do is plug that into the HDMI 2, which also says eARC and ARC on the back of the projector. After that, we'll button up all of the projector components and get it up on the screen. We now have all of our inputs connected, which means we have the Xbox Series X running through HDMI 1 on the projector, and we have the PlayStation 5 running through the Denon, and then the Denon outputting to HDMI 2 on the projector. So as I go through my menu here on the PlayStation, you'll notice that the volume works just fine. You can hear the music from the PlayStation 5. So now we need to go check the Xbox Series X. So since the PlayStation 5 is running through the receiver and that's on HDMI 2, we're now going to switch to HDMI 1. And as planned, the Xbox pops up on the screen. The only issue I'm running into right now is I'm not hearing the music for the Xbox. So in order to change that, we need to run the Xbox through eARC. Now, how, how does that work, you may be asking. Well, first things first, you're going to jump into the menu on the projector. Once you go into the menu, go to Signal, Input, Output. Once you're in Signal, Input, and Output, you're going down and you're going to select HDMI Link. You'll see now that HDMI Link is currently set to Off. We are going to turn that on. Hit escape and you'll now see that HDMI link is on. We're not quite done yet. The next thing we need to do is go back to the PlayStation 5 screen using HDMI 2 from the projector. Now we're going to take our Denon remote and we're going to go into setup. We're going to go to video. We're going to go to HDMI setup and we're going to go down to ARC. Right now it's set to OFF. We're going to turn it on. Now the cool thing here is that we're still hearing the music from our PlayStation. But now we have another option. Now we want to switch back to the Xbox. So we're going to hit HDMI 1 on the remote for the projector. And now we want to get the audio from the Xbox. So we're going to hit TV audio on the Denon remote. It'll change over. We'll go into a, or an application like Dolby. We'll activate that. And now we have sound for the Xbox as well. Now the other thing that we can confirm on the Xbox is if we exit out of this application that I'm in, I can show you that we still can do 4K 120 hertz. When we go into general, TV and display, and you'll see on the left hand side, resolution is 4K refresh rate is 120 hertz. That's because it's still running through an HDMI 2.1 port. If we switch back to the PlayStation, and we're going to verify that the 4K 120 hertz refresh rate works. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we select a game that supports it. In this case, let's select Warzone. Now to verify, Hold the PlayStation button, go up to the gear settings, down to screen and video, video output information, and you'll see on the right hand side, I'll zoom in for you, right at the top right, 4K 120 hertz. You also notice below that HDR is supported. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me here on the Dangen. So that's the pretty much 
basic setup that I have here. I know several people asked, so I wanted to show you guys exactly how I have most of my components run. Almost everything runs through the Denon AVR, including the PlayStation 5, which uses that 8K input and that 8K output, so I can get 4K 120Hz eARC. But, like I said, since it has eARC and since the projector has eARC, I'm also able to tap into the projector's other HDMI port and run sound and picture through that and still get full surround sound with Dolby Atmos using eARC. So it's a pretty sophisticated process when it comes to just putting it together and making sure all of the connections are set up on the UI. But other than that, it's pretty easy. So if you guys have any other questions, make sure you ask in the comments below. But other than that, thanks for joining me here on The Danger. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.